how to create a new section in Tecla. Firstly, go into a program like AutoCAD and draw up a section. Remember that it needs to be closed on all accounts and it's not allowed to have any outstanding or overlapping lines or openings so that it can become one solid section. After drawing up the section, save it. Okay. Now in Tecla itself, you'll go to Modeling, Profiles, and define cross-section using DWG file. You can also define this cross-section using Sketch Editor, Polygon, Plate, or, or edit one that you've already made. But in this case, for convenience sake, I'm being used, going to be using the DWG file. Now, inside the DWG file, by input, you'll firstly need to navigate to where you saved the AutoCAD file you made. Mine is BondLock on my desktop. Next, you have to fill in the section and profile name. Uh, center point, I'm not going to use any offset. I'm going to have my center point right in the middle of my section. And of course you've got weight per square meter. Now this is the standard weight for a solid steel plate per cubic meter. And this of course gets worked down to the shape you're using to give it an accurate weight. If you can't get an accurate weight from this, uh, just make your material something like component or zero so that it has no weight and won't interfere with your other stuff. Okay, next you can put it in and it'll put in the new section. Once this is done, go back to Modeling Profiles and this time go to Profile Catalog. Inside Profile Catalog, under User Defined, it's usually the best place to do it, you'll find you've got either a bond lock or something similar there. Now, underneath the bond lock, uh, I'm just going to put it as an unknown profile and my profile subtype is also bond lock. Okay. This profile unfortunately is static and it will not get bigger or smaller by changing values. We have no values to change here. Unlike things like plate, this will work more like a beam. And I think that